seven o'clock now and we are at the beach. We're just about to take a walk down to the attack channel. This is day eight without any orcas, so we've got everything crossed that today's the day. The reason we keep on doing this job is an eternal sense of optimism. And the conditions today are perfect. Wind is good, tide is good, sea line cups are playing in the water. Hopefully they will turn up and they will be hungry. A young male sea lion is coming to give us an inspection. Oh, he's gorgeous. It's called multitasking. Waiting for orphans and technical mail update. <laughs> There are no more pilots. <laughs> sea Sea lions are extremely clever and that makes them extremely curious. So wherever we go, we have to move very slowly and often crawl <laughs> with Kit, which can be a little challenging. What's he looking for, do you think? Oh, I'd say must be some walkers. That's what I thought. They've got really sharp teeth, I'm not sure that's wise. It's not going to bite me. Oh, here we go. Trip to A&E on its way. <laughs> no, I'm happy to be next to animals, it is not that... You know, being close to these with their little razor sharp mouths. That is outrageous. Do you think that's it? Can I ask you something, Sophie? What? When you leave this shoot, yeah. what will I you miss the most? will you miss this? losing light and it's sort of a race against time right now. The orcas are about a kilometre away and we can see them but I'm just not sure they're going to get here before we lose the light. I think they've turned around. So what happened there is that we were running out of light massively and just to add insult to injury, the orcas turned around and went around the corner. So that's game over. Still in Sonic time, surely. We have a 
Absolutely best part of the day. <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. Bitey, bitey. This is what happens when you let a producer drive a quad bike. This mud is like thick concrete. I mean, you cannot pull out your legs from there. 